U.S. couples ask their wedding guests for down payments on home mortgages. I stumbled upon this, and I honestly thought this was kind of crazy, but honestly, not that bad of an idea. So couples in the U.S. are reportedly raising cash from their wedding guests for housing and other expenses, according to wedding planning websites like Zola and The Nut, according to a report. Housing-related cash registries have doubled on Zola since 2019. Over 2 million couples have used this service since its inception in 2013, with three-quarters of them requesting cash for their expenses, the Financial Times reported. After honeymoons, funds for new homes and repairs and renovations are the second most popular ones on the knot. The website that surveys over 300,000 brides, grooms, guests, and wedding planners every year. With everything that we've experienced when it comes to inflation in the housing market, people are really reflecting on how they want to use their registry, said Esther Lee, deputy editor at The Nut, in a conversation with the Financial Times. Home ownership is closely related to marital status. 79% of married couples in the U.S. owned a home together in 2020, as compared to the national average of 66%, according to U.S. Census data. Couples can live in dwellings designated as single-family homes and receive marital deductions with their legal status change. And mortgage rates have more than doubled since the beginning of 2021 in, intent, in, an, in an attempt by the Federal Reserve to control inflation. Price appreciation is also making the housing market difficult for new couples to penetrate. The average 30-year fixed mortgage touched 6.29% last week, with an average increase of 2.88%, a 14-year high according to Freddie Mac. A federal home loan mortgage company, the median installment on mortgage applications in August came down to $1,839 a surge of 43% from last year, according to the numbers from Mortgage Bankers Association. Wedding guests are contributing to the homeowner's dreams, providing a little ease to newlywed couples by contributing $175 to $200 on average for those who register on wedding planning websites, according to the FT, I guess the Financial Times. Guests really want to give to these new home funds, and they're willing to give just a little bit more to help out a couple get their first home, said Zillow spokeswoman Emily Forrest. So a Michigan-based couple raised $10,000 for a mortgage down payment last year through their wedding registry. In a ceremony postponed to 2021 with an intimate wedding gathering in 2020 during the peak pandemic. Roughly one-third of their guests contributed instead of getting one of the more traditional gifts on the couple's registry, such as an all-clad cookware set, according to the couple. Another couple, based out of New York, raised $30,000 for their home mortgage this year. Now, here's the thing, right? I don't think this is necessarily, like, a bad idea. The thing is, a lot of wedding guests end up giving, you know, the husband and wife, basically absolutely worthless gifts, right? So if you are having like a pretty significant sized wedding, why not charge a couple hundred bucks to one, fund the wedding, and also with the excess cash, use it for like a down payment kind of thing, right? Kind of make it like an actual event that the people that are attending would actually enjoy it. Then you could end up basically justifying charging for it because it's kind of like a celebration that everyone will actually enjoy, all aspects of it, and you can make some money on the side. I think it's a kind of a fun idea to make some pretty good cash in a short amount of time, depending on the situation. But I mean, feel free to give your thoughts. The thing is, if you are... Like, if this is the first time you're going to get married, and it'll be the first time that you'll end up getting, like, a house, it's really not that bad of an idea 
to get a down payment for the house. The only problem with that, some people might feel entitled to tell you what to do with the house if they help contribute to the down payment. So that's something you got to be aware of. There's some crazy people out there. Let's see. I think that a couple of kids getting married and blowing tens of thousands on a party when they don't own a home is absolutely ridiculous and irresponsible. My wife and I were not were in our late 30s and had our own homes when we married, but had we not, we would have taken the money for a party and invested it on a down payment for a home. Yeah, I'd agree. See, here's the thing. A good show that ends up... Um, Portraying this like really weird tug of war that married couple people have, or like people who are going to get married have, between this dilemma in their mind of either having a really awesome wedding for a day or a down payment for potentially a really nice house, is a show called Mortgage or Marriage, I believe that's the actual name of it. And you end up basically watching these episodes of couples, fiancés, fiancés, whatever, people who are going to get married, where they are basically having to go through the process of either finding a house where they're going to use the down payment that they saved up. Like, basically, they saved up money, and this money will either be used as a down payment for a home or all of it be used for a wedding. Right? And it's really interesting to see the people's mindsets, right? Because I think there was one where someone ended up basically spending 40 grand for a wedding instead of putting that money down on a, for like a down payment for a house. And that is so crazy to me. Like, you're going to burn 40 G's. $40,000 on a wedding for a day. Imagine spending $40,000 on a single day. Like, that is so crazy. Especially since I'm pretty certain the couple was not making that type of money to be able to spend that type of money. Right? Like, that is such disgusting amounts of money. And it's so common. I think like the average wedding cost in the United States is about thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars, which is insane to me, because that could easily, depending on the state that you live in, and county and city or whatever, could easily be a down payment for like a three hundred thousand dollar house, a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar house, maybe even a four hundred thousand dollar house, or almost pay off like a really nice $200,000 house, right? It's just like, it really just doesn't make sense to me because I understand people wanting to have like a nice wedding. I understand people wanting to have that day like a special day. But how do you justify potentially financially ruining yourself and your partner for a moment of enjoyment, right? By the way, can you imagine spending 40 grand on a wedding? You end up getting married to the person and then you end up getting divorced. How crazy would that be? Or you find out that the person cheated on you afterwards, which, you know, hopefully doesn't happen to you, but like, that's still always a risk. So my thing is like, look, One of the biggest issues in terms of marital problems is money. So why go down the route of potentially making a really big issue in your marriage because of the wedding? Like, wouldn't you want the wedding to be something that you simply enjoy? Because you also got to keep in mind, too, the bigger the wedding, the more expensive the wedding the more you're going to have to deal with. It's just going to be one big, massive pain in the butt. 
By the way, if you want to learn how to get out of debt and master your money, go down below or go to 40inbox.com. Feel free to give your thoughts on this.